Hello there, my name is Tracy Elsman. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada. Today, as you're watching this video, it's Christmas Day. I want to wish everyone who watches this video a very happy Christmas and a peaceful New Year, um, or whatever holiday you happen to celebrate. My um, best wishes go out to you. So today, you will hopefully be able to spend time with family and friends and enjoying a nice day. So I'm going to make this very short and sweet. A few weeks ago, I created this very, very simple silverware holder. It's basically a napkin folded round, some coordinating card and some ribbon. And I thought today, if you've got a few minutes spare, you might be interested in something that would coordinate with that particular item. So I'm going to start by bringing in my big shot. And from my opening shot, I'm sure you will gather that it involves a stemmed wine glass. Right, so here I have a napkin. It coordinates. It's the same one that I used for the silverware. <clears throat> and I'm bringing in the largest of the stitched shapes framelits. This is a set of 12 framelits. You get four squares, four ovals and four circles. And I'm going to be using three of the four circles. So I just keep them in a stamp case like this and it tells me how many of each and it makes it easy for me to find what I need and to be able to make sure I put them away properly. So with the napkin it's a square napkin that's just I haven't opened it up or anything I've just left all the layers folded as it comes and just run that through with the stitch shape framelits and look how wonderful that is you get that lovely stitched area around it kind of holds all the layers together so that's the first thing I need to do the next thing is this now this is gorgeous it's part of the myths and magic six by six glimmer paper you get 24 six by six sheets uh, Eight of them are iridescent, so it, it looks white, but it picks up all the different colours around it. Eight of them are this light green colour, and eight of them are this beautiful turquoise colour. So the one I'm going to use is the light green, and I'm going to use the number two. I believe it's the number two. Let me just double check. Yes, the number two size stitch shape framelit to cut that out. There we go. Now, I always, when I'm making a note of what dies I'm using, if it's a set of layering dies, I tend to count them, I always count them from the smallest upwards because if you've have a new birthday you tend to get bigger so as you get older your numbers go up and with me my numbers go up on my dies as they get bigger so now I have here um, a piece of thick whisper white card it's been wiped with an embossing buddy and then this sentiment cheers to the year uh, cheers to a new year has been stamped using Versamark ink gold embossing powder sprinkled over the top then Every, all the excess tapped off, any stray bits removed, and then embossed using the heat tool on high, which is number two. Okay, so now I have the smallest, the number one of the circled dies in the stitched shapes framelits. I'm going to run that through, and that gives me my sentiment again with a nice little bit of stitching on it. So let's take the big shot away finished with that now and we'll just bring in these three pieces a really really simple project so i'm going to pick up there we are my tear and tape and i'm going to put just a little bit of tear and tape on the back of the glimmer paper that take the backing off there we go so that goes in the center on there like that 
then I'm going to put some tear and tape on the back of my die cut piece of sentiment. There we go, pull that off. There we go, that's done. We're going to put that in the centre. And there is my wine glass. It's a beautiful little coaster. It coordinates with the cutlery, that I, the silverware that I have created. And it's a nice way of creating a coordinated look for your table. All I need to do now is to come in with another piece of that beautiful 3 8 inch metallic edge ribbon. This is the vanilla ribbon with the gold edging that coordinates with that with the ribbon that I've used on my silverware holder. I'm going to attempt to tie a bow. It is Christmas after all. Let's see if I can do it. Bring it round. Pretty little bow. Trim off the edges. There we go. And there we have it. All ready for your Christmas table, your New Year's table, whatever suits you. Have a lovely day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.